Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you guys my new foundation routine. This is kind of my winter foundation routine. Because my skin's getting a little bit drier as we get into the winter, I want to show you what I've been using um, to kind of keep it soft and keep it dewy and not let it dry out too much. And I'm not wearing too much foundation, that's the main thing in this look. So I really hope you enjoy it and just keep watching. So I already applied my moisturizer, which is the Nivea Soft Moisturizer. That's why my face is all glowy. So I just applied some Listex cream because my lips are really chapped and this really helps with chapped lips. I'm just going to wash my hands because you do want to make sure that when you apply anything on your face that your hands are clean. My hands are clean and I'm going to start by applying my Garnier BB Cream. This is fantastic because it is a tinted cream that you place onto your face and it also helps um, with blemishes and to help heal the skin. It has all these amazing properties in it and I love it. So I've been using this a lot. Now you're better off starting off with a very small amount and blending that in and then blending on the next section, next section because what this does is dry quite quickly and kind of set on the skin. So you're better off applying it bit by bit rather than just dabbing it all over the face and then blending it. Even though this is a tinted moisturizer, I always apply a moisturizer underneath it anyway just because my skin can get kind of dry and I find it actually works better and it smooths all the skin better if you've already applied a moisturizer. So just for a little bit of extra coverage, I use a tiny drop of the Lasting Finish by Rimmel and I'll just dab this across my cheeks. Because I've already applied the BB cream, I actually need less foundation. So I actually found my skin is improving because I'm not applying as much foundation and the BB cream is giving me pretty much all the coverage that I need except for across the cheek area. So I'm going to move on to concealing. I'm going to take the Maybelline 24 Hour. This is a fantastic concealer. Try it, seriously. Especially if you have oily skin. I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. I have these blemishes here which if you have a boyfriend who has a beard then you know what this is caused from. So I'm just going to dab this dabbing this over my spots. I have quite a lot on my chin so it's just kind of going all over there. Around the nose. So you want to mattify the skin if you have blemishes or if you have open pores because these will minimize the pores and it will also make sure that you have extra coverage on your blemishes and that they don't look as obvious because these blemishes are hitting the light and they're looking more obvious whereas when I mattify them they're going to look better. So I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte and this is in transparent but it is a kind of a yellow based colour. They have peaches and they have bronzy kind of colours but this is one of my favourites. I'm going to take this onto a little powder puff which I regularly clean these. And I'm just going to dab it very gently, working kind of a rolling motion across. And this will just mattify them. And it'll also make sure that that concealer does not budge. But the rest of my face, I'm going to keep it quite dewy because I kind of like that effect, especially coming into the winter. Because as the sunlight goes a little bit cooler, if you're wearing too much foundation, it actually looks more obvious. So you're better off keeping the mattifying powders to a minimal. And that's pretty much it for my foundation routine and I just need to add the rest of my face. I really hope you enjoyed this. The list of everything is going to be in the box below. I'm Shady Katie and thank you for watching.